All right, so here's a problem many e-learning developers run into. Uh, you get somebody asking about an older course, or maybe you're looking for an older course and need to find out what was in it. Uh, maybe all you have is the older published version. And then you go to click on it, and then you get this message here saying that it no longer works because it was all published uh, to run in Flash. So how do you fix that? So the first step is you go to this location, the Adobe site, and I'll put the link in the uh, post. Um, you can download the Flash Player. And then once you've downloaded that, uh, you're going to get uh, something like this. You open it up, and what you're going to do is look for your course folder. So I have a course here. Here's an older published course, and you can see this is the published file. And then what we have here is uh, the Swift file, right? So what we want to do is link to that Swift file, and that's the Flash file, and that'll then load up uh, the course. So what we're going to do is go into here, go File. You would go to Open, and then you would dig through uh, that folder, look for it. Here's that scenario folder we're looking at. We're going to do Swift. Let's go ahead and do Open, and hit OK. And now what you can see is that that course uh, is going to play here, the Flash course. Hopefully it plays. You know, there's no guarantee uh, with how the Flash player and these uh, how old that is and when the courses were published. But this should work. I'm going to go ahead and just type in. It looks like most of this works here. And then I'm going to click through it. Let's see. Uh, it looks like all the interactivity works. And then I can uh, go through this here. And you can see uh, that the course itself is working. So if you run into some older Flash content, um, you could possibly try this. It may work, it may not work, but at least you have access to a Flash player. As long as you have that complete published folders, uh, you can go ahead and uh, run that through there. And then it's just a matter of one is getting to see what's in the file. The other thing is possibly extracting a content from, uh, from the slides that you can see. Hopefully that helps and that you can have some success with this.